Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I'm going to tie a Kate's Turkey, but I've adapted the pattern this time around to tie it more in a Euro style. And what I mean by that is I've adapted the hook, um, a bead on this, and also substituted tail materials to be a lot more like uh, what we're finding in many of the Euro style flies nowadays. Um, I've used a, a jig hook, a competition barbless jig hook with a slotted copper bead and then I've tied uh, the tail on this fly with Coque de Leon, whiting Coque de Leon, which I like a lot for a Calabatus nymph, which the Kate, Kate's turkey imitates wonderfully. I just got back from a trip out to eastern Oregon where we fished a high desert lake and Kate's turkey was nailed and this this exact pattern in a size 16 really did well on some pretty good sized rainbows. Uh, I took a number of fish up in the 18 to 20, 21 inch range um, fishing this particular fly under an indicator in a lake. So in any event this fly has been around for a long time. It was originally developed by Jerry Kate for fishing Davis Lake to imitate Calabatus nymphs. Um, in Jerry's original tie he used a lemon wood duck for the tail and also put a throat on it of also of lemon wood duck. In my, in my tie I've uh, adapted it just very slightly to be more in Euro style uh, that's become quite popular today but nonetheless it is uh, uh, tied following Jerry's original recipe with those slight adaptations and it does work really effectively during Calabatus time. So let me cover the materials list for this pattern. I'll touch on each of these one by one so you get a flavor for why I've got each material selected. For the hook on this pattern, I'm going to use a Firehole 516 in size 16. This is a competition barbless hook. It's a jig hook with a heavy wire and a 1x gape. So it's, a, uh, it's intended to fish inverted with the hook facing upright. And typically we'll put a slotted bead on this hook and that enables you to to hook most fish in the upper lip uh, where this hook really sticks. For the bead on this fly I'm gonna use a slotted or true fit tungsten bead 2.0 millimeters or 564 and that's a copper bead um, that uh, works well on this pattern. For the thread on this fly I'm using a Vivas 16 aught black for the rib, I'm going to use ultra wire in copper, and I'm using their smallest uh, diameter wire or small. For the tail on this fly, I'm going to use whiting Coque de Leon in a natural pardo. For the abdomen on this fly, I'm going to use turkey tail. I'll cut off about five or six barbs off this and wind it much like you would wind a pheasant tail, except this is from a turkey, hence the name Kate's Turkey. And lastly, for the thorax, I'm going to use a barb off a peacock feather, and I'll select one that's relatively fine um, so that I don't uh, inflate the size of this uh, thorax too large. I want to keep it very, very fine. So let's get started on the Kate's turkey. I've placed the hook in the vise and I've put a two millimeter copper slotted bead on this jig hook. So the first thing I'm going to do is tie on my thread and go ahead and wind up in tight to that bead and go ahead and set it um, where I want it to lay on the hook itself. We'll follow that up with uh, tying in a uh, short piece of 
my small copper wire. This is going to be used as the rib for both the abdomen and the thorax. Next, I'm going to select out about 10 or 12 fibers off my Cote de Leon feather. Um, this is a very stiff um, feather, or the barbs on it are very stiff, and it, it makes for great tailing material, and especially a fly like a Kate's turkey imitating uh, the speckling on calabatus. And so I'll tie that in uh, right at the bead and wind it all the way back to the tail set position. Um, the tail itself should probably be about the length of the body of this fly. Next, I'm going to select out about a half a dozen barbs off my uh, turkey tail feather, and I'm going to tie those in uh, by the tip. I'll probably clip a little bit of the tip off, but I want to use the finer feathers up near the tip to keep the profile of this fly um, minimal, uh, very, very, very slim. So once I've tied those in, I'll wind them forward all the way up to uh, where the thorax is going to be placed, and I'll tie that off and clip off the excess. So next, I've taken a single barb off of the uh, peacock feather, and I took that off the left side of the feather with the shiny side facing me. I'm a right-handed fly tire, and so when I tie this on, uh, shiny side back and dull side forward onto the hook, I'm going to get the very longest fibers off this peacock um, barb. The last step before I finish this fly is to rib it, and so I'll wind four or five wraps in the abdomen and one or two through the thorax and tie off that copper wire and clip off the excess. I'm going to go without putting any head cement on it, so I'll whip finish it twice with about three to four wraps of my 16 knot thread. If you put a little bit of glue on there, which can mat down the peacock, um, you don't need to whip finish twice. But given we've ribbed this with copper wire, that should add a lot of stability to this fly and pattern to where you really don't need to glue it. So the very last piece of this pattern is let me rotate it around the in the vise so you can see all sides of the Kate's turkey. This is a really good fly and I think you'll enjoy tying it. it is, as you can see in the video, it's a very, very easy tie and a quick tie. So this is one you can uh, produce a number to keep in your box for calabatus season. So that has been your Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Kate's Turkey um, being tied and I hope you'll give this pattern a try. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube page and also uh, follow us at Sun River Anglers on Facebook. Thanks for watching.